Gemini, welcome to the channel. I hope all is well with you. Let's get you a reading, see what you need to be aware of at this time. We're dipping straight in with the tarot, no faffing around. We're going straight into a message. Um, please only take the messages that resonate. This may or may not resonate for you. Please check your other placements, check other readings too. Thank you so much for your continued love and support. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I'm very grateful to have your love, your support and everything in between. Let's see what you need to be aware of. Let's see. What does Gemini need to be aware of? Give me a message for Gemini, please. And thank you. Please don't watch the crazy hair. I was realizing that it's not even even or equal. I don't care. <laughs> I'm about to be taking down these braids soon. And oh, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> something about braids could be significant for you. Right, let's see. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. Messages for Gemini. The Eight of Swords in the reverse. Something is gonna be becoming easier for you, Gemini. You could be finding something that was a little bit more restrictive. It's going to start flowing a little bit more. This could be to do with your work, some sort of skill that you're learning. Maybe you found some sort of difficulty getting over a hurdle or picking up a concept, especially if this is to do with education or learning something, learning a new craft or something. Maybe you struggle to kind of like um, navigate your way through and you're going to be finding it easier. Some sort of restriction is being lifted in that sense. The Tower, okay. The Crown of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. What's the Tower? The Ace of Cups. The Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The seven of pentacles. Someone could be holding back an offer for you, a love offer. You could be very shocked to hear from this person. This is going to kind of knock you sideways. You're going to feel like this is coming in at a time where, I, I don't know if you're going to feel like something about it being an inappropriate time for you. Maybe you've just got over some sort of restriction or you're just relieving yourself of some sort of stuck energy and things are flowing for you and just when things are in the flow for you um i feel like you're going to be kind of like a little bit knocked sideways from an offer somebody's been holding back the fact that they want to invest in you this is somebody who may have held back feelings from you you could have definitely somebody could be thinking about the past a lot this could be somebody who you have a past with but it's like you've just released yourself from something is what I'm kind of getting here. And this is going to be coming in like, whoa, is this the right time? Like I'm getting an energy of, do I really need this right now? Like I've just got over that thing or I've just, it's just become easier for me or I'm just in my stride now. There's something here about something getting easier for you with the nine of wands. Yeah, I've just gone through all of that stuff back there, you know with the four of wands I'm, I'm i'm you know back in a place where i can see my footing again you know i'm not in quicksand anymore the sand is kind of leveled out and i'm able to kind of like tread i've got the right shoes on now i've managed to purchase the right shoes to walk on the sand if that makes sense footprints in the sands that that um poem could be very significant you could have a plaque with that that saying on I know a lot of old school houses usually do. Your grandmother could have that plaque. Footprints in the sand. The 
the knight of swords yeah I, I just feel like someone is going to come and interrupt a stride of yours like i don't know if you're going to welcome this it could be that you've detached from this person and now they're coming back in again type of energy with the page of cups. This could be somebody who wants to, you know, get nice with you, you know, with the ten of wands. Could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius. The ten of swords. five of swords so i'll be honest with you gemini you could have someone here who has played with you in the past definitely could have hurt you in the past there could have been a betrayal definitely could have been a betrayal here um somebody hasn't got over you this is like the energy of they've always had some sort of torch for you or feelings for you or something and someone's about to hit you up or contact you again or try and come back in your energy um, I'm just getting a rip with the Knight of Swords here with the Ten of Swords. What they're coming with isn't the best. Like they're coming with the same, a bit of the same. And this could definitely have been somebody who you've already got over or you've just, again, I know I keep saying it, you've just got over this or you've, you've come to a place where this is no longer holding you back and they're coming back. Here they come. Here they come. knight of pentacles and the four of wands and i feel like the reason why they're coming back is because they see that they see you've just got back on your feet they see that you've been it's taken you a while you could have definitely been working on this for a long time this could even be a project where somebody has watched you painstakingly go through um some sort of process of you know keep fighting the good fight keeping with it you know being consistent showing up when you need to show up it's not been an easy thing that you've had to do here with the two of wands and this could be somebody who is biding their time and deciding when they're going to be coming to step back in i feel like you've got over someone and someone wants to come back in to drag you back Some of you could have moved or you're getting a new home. Why? The seven of cups. With the four of cups. Somebody's sad that you're no longer stuck. If you was in a restricted energy, if you felt like, you know, the path wasn't clear for you, if you felt like you were struggling to move forward, you were struggling to even build something um, of substance for yourself. And this could have been after a betrayal and an ending, somebody deceptive in your life. Somebody's very, very sad that you are successfully moving on, successfully building something new, successfully getting over whatever that stuck energy was, that quicksand energy is what I'm, I'm getting. With the Seven of Cups. They feel very overwhelmed by this. With the Five of Pentacles, because they're feeling like two of cups death card page of pentacles in the reverse if you've been in an in and out situation with somebody a hot and cold situation a situation ship or a relationship that's been very rocky this is like on it's giving on and off it's giving We've broken up a few times and this cycle has, has gone or come back around a few times. That's what it's really kind of giving. You could have definitely have separated from this person a few times. There could have been lying, cheating involved here, definitely. Um, 
you're now back in a place you could have been in this place multiple times is the is the thing that i'm trying to co convey here like there could have been a period where you've been around in cycles with this person you break up you make up you break up you make up and you possibly have always felt that you can't really get your foot in because you always go back to something or someone and you know the same thing might happen this is like the energy of needing to learn the lesson and having to go through a few rounds and it happens sometimes people don't get the lesson the first time sometimes you have to go back sometimes you have to touch the hot stove to get burned again and then go back and touch it again to get burned for a third and a fourth time sometimes you know it's part of the learning process so don't feel any way about that sometimes it takes us a while especially when we're dealing with deceptive energies or people who are you know wanting to keep them us attached to them for their own reasons for selfishness or just because they they want us around but they can't act right too and yeah not to say you're perfect but yeah there's some sort of cycle that you could have been going around with a person and doing a lot of the same multiple times and you are in a space now where you've got back on your feet again you could have been in this space a few times before and you Every single time that you have a breakup with this person or something goes funny with this person, it's like it's harder to get yourself back up again. But you do it. And you've got to a space where this particular time has been particularly difficult to get yourself in focus again, get your creativity back in check, get your direction back in check, get your pathway clear, get the runway clear to actually take off again. It's been like every time you detach from a person, there's a rehabilitation thing that you've got to go through all over again. And every time you go back into it, this with somebody, you may find that you undo all of that or things start to come on the runway again. And, you know, white noise starts to happen, you know, that static noise and you can't hear anymore. And I just feel like there's an energy here of a person wanting you to come back to that again. And you've worked really hard to kind of get yourself back up again. And now this person's disappointed because what's really going on with this person is this is a person who never wants you to go too far away from them. This is a person who always wants to be able to step their foot back over the threshold. You know, this is a person who always wants the door, the window to be cracked a little bit so they can push their hand in, push their little head in, whatever. And this could be somebody who's realising that your options are becoming open because this time around you're doing it a little bit different. You know that energy of putting your pieces back together a little bit different than what you did previously because you've done this before with this person. I'm just getting an energy you've done this before. Or you could have done this multiple times with different people and this time around is different because you've learnt the lesson in multiple different relationships. Take it as it resonates. This doesn't have to be one person that you've gone back and back and forth with this could have been you've met a string of people that you it, it was teaching you something like you've met a string of people who have lied to you you've met a string of people who have betrayed you you've met a string of people who come with nasty surprises to throw on your runway and you have to rehabilitate all over again and you've got to a point where it's been harder this time to get yourself back it's been harder this time to rehabilitate yourself if you like <clears throat> excuse me still got my cough but you've successfully done it and it's opening a new avenue for you it's opening multiple avenues for you things are finally about to get better things are looking easier things are very clear for you and somebody else is feeling a little bit disheveled somebody else is feeling left out in the cold and i feel like what this person doesn't want what this person is scared of i feel like there's fear there's fear associated with this person. What this person is scared of is you realising that you could have so much more than what this is. From the five of pentacles and the two of cups to the ten of pentacles and the death card. You ending something definitively, finito, gone, you know, done, dusted. Push it in the dust and bury it. You doing that opens your opportunities up tenfold with the ten of pentacles and this is somebody who is they they wouldn't want to see that so they keep you they either keep coming back or 
when they see you healing too much it's like oh no oh 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 gemini's gemini's healing too much shock horror like <laughs> <clears throat> sorry for me to say it like so flippantly but like i'll be damned like i'll be damned if gemini heals to the point where i can't step my little weasel self back through the threshold of their door again oh my gosh you could be dealing with somebody who even talks like that high pitched i can't even high pitch my voice right now because it's, it's struggling <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Yeah, that's what this is. If you put them in the dust and bury them once and for all, they are crap scared of you finding something tenfold better. Ten times better. Ten of pentacles. And the thing is, you're capable of it. I have to say vim behind what I'm saying. You're capable of it. You are. You are. That's what they're scared of. Whatever this connection is that you have with this person, you possibly have never got past the five of pentacles. There's always lack. You're all right for a minute, then there's something. There's a block in the road. I don't feel like this is the person that you're supposed to be with. Your destiny does not lie here with this person. That's the reason why things keep crumbling with the tower, especially if you've gone round in a few cycles. You're not supposed to be with this person. <clears throat> will this person take any action and i'm going to get you some advice seven of swords they're not to be trusted and the five of swords absolutely not oh my gosh <laughs> five of swords and the seven of swords don't trust this person as far as you can throw them dash them as far as you can throw them bury it Death card. I'm telling you, that's the advice. <laughs> We've already stepped over to the advice. Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. Mm -mm. Whatever action they're going to take is to sabotage this right here. Them being left in the dust with the Death card and that Ten of Pentacles, that tenfold abundance that you've not been able to attain with this person because it's a karmic cycle. This is a karmic person that you're supposed to learn something from and move the f on with the ten of coins what am i telling you two decks don't do it mm -mm. will this person take any action five of swords and the seven of swords they will but it's not coming from the greatest place you can do better than this. The ace of coins in the reverse. Yeah, it's going to it's gonna fail again. So if you've had a missed opportunity with somebody, it's going to flop again because you're just dealing with somebody who can't get right. Like, it's not going to work. They're too deceptive. They're, you know, shady. This person could lie. They're, they're not ready to not be low vibrational. Like, they're not ready to do that. I'm hearing, why are they like this? <laughs> That's probably what you're saying. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm going to close it soon. I've got to go sort out my son. What's that that flipped over? The Wheel of Fortune and the Empress in the reverse. You're selling yourself short to go back into this. The Wheel of Fortune, the wheel is trying to turn. Something is trying to change with the destiny that is written for you. And um, this will continue to be a missed opportunity. The balls will be continuing to drop where it comes to you going back into something. The balls will never stay up in the air with this person because they're in the wrong energy. They're in karmic energy. Five of swords, the seven of swords. This is somebody who is just out for what they can get from people. This is somebody who's deceptive. You can't get right with this person because they can't get right. And with the empress in the reverse, you will never, you will never 
attain the level of success that you're that I'm seeing that you're potentially working towards connected to this person I think you're gonna have to realize or you may be coming to the realization that somebody just isn't for you and with the empress in the reverse you're selling yourself short you can do so much better five of wands in the reverse you can do so much better drop this drama drop this drama what's the advice i think i've given you the advice anyway but advice five of cups yeah that person's this person's coming out as that five of cups they will regret this they will and i feel like the only way that they're fully gonna oh there's a phone ringing in my house the only way that they're fully going to regret this is um, you not going back into the past with the Six of Cups in the reverse. Because energetically, that's when it can happen. You going back and forth with somebody is not going to help them to learn the lesson. The Hierophant in the reverse. Yeah. Somebody's non-committal. The Two of Cups. And the king of swords stand firm on your boundary stand firm on what you want and with the world card stand firm on an ending this time around with the ace of swords yeah you know the truth with the three of swords you know that it, it always ends the same doesn't it this is the person that it always ends the same with this is just confirmation you finally got yourself back up you finally um got to the state where you are not in quicksand anymore okay um yeah keep that keep that energy keep the same energy if you've ever heard that saying keep the same energy this person will attempt to come back but with the seven of swords and the five of swords hell to the no hell to the no gemini i love you so much thank you so much for watching if you like um the content if you like the video please like share subscribe thank you so much for your continued love and support sending you so much love and light for the new week blessings to you and i will see you again very very soon you take care bye